first two and I'm dashing it out kind of quickly, but this time around there's a topic I wish to address ahead of putting it in a column simply because the way the publication schedules are set up, this is actually going to be out the door first. On the internet right now, there's a bit of controversy concerning two magazine covers. The magazines are Boys Life Magazine and Girls Life Magazine. There's a photo going around showing the two magazine covers put next to each other, and people are being outraged. After all, while the Boys Life Magazine has the cover story of exploring your careers, which has photos of things like satellites and stealth fighters in order to suggest possible careers for the boys who are reading it. The Girls Life magazine is all about fashion, or at least that's what one would think based on the cover. People are presuming that because the two magazines have similar titles, they're put out by the same group and are appealing to different genders in a fashion that is meant to reinforce gender stereotypes. Thing is, people, that's not the case. Boys Life is, the, is an official publication of the Boy Scouts of America. Given that one of the big things of the BSA is getting kids to explore the world and learn new things, maybe even find new careers, pretty obvious that somewhere along the way they're going to do a cover story on exploring new jobs and careers. In contrast, Girls Life is produced by a company that, from what little bit I'm seeing, tends to primarily focus on teeny titles. And so, ultimately, all the two magazines have in common is similar titles. That's about it, beyond target, target audience segregation and approaches. So folks, do the internet a favor. If you see somebody going off on this, please just take half a second look at the situation, and provide them with resources to help explain it to things. Catch y'all later.